All right, guys, it's Aaron from God a Minute, and I am waiting for my soon Messiah. I hope you are too. Jesus is the Messiah, the anointed one who came approximately 2,000 years ago. I've got some fun information. You're just going to have to come along with me for the ride. My mind is uh, in 20 different spots. I'm sure I will do a future video to explain this better. I am so sorry in advance if I lose some people. I'm going to try my best. You know, sometimes it's it's difficult because we're speaking to so many different audiences. Some people, did they know so many things, and some people have no clue what's going on. So I'll do my best to keep it simple, moving along quickly. But uh, if you don't understand, just rewind and watch it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, guys. So we're waiting for the rapture of the church. We're also waiting for the second coming. I just made a chart. Now uh, we were talking in our Discord today, doing a Bible study, and we came to the understanding, or at least somebody said something. I don't even know who said it, but um, pregnancy is generally 40 weeks. And you, if you go online and you check. Uh, calculators for you know when you're going to be uh, giving birth they they simply add 40 uh, 40 weeks or what they do is they add 280 days so let me just turn my screen around just so you can see what I'm talking about and it's it's not too important but I uh, just wanted to show you what you do so for example here I'll just do this so if you were to say for example that you uh, uh, let's see here your, your ovulation thing and you would add a certain amount of days and and it would get you to there so then let me just i, I have three different calculators right so uh i, I punched in f for just for example february 7th right so if you uh ovulated and all that and they count 280 days from your um when your last period was i guess or when you ovulated so the, the thing is they always add 280 so there's february 7th and you're there, therefore your due date would be November 14th. That's 280 days. And so here's the time and, cal time and date calculator. And so you just simply add 280 days to when you ovulated, I guess, or from your last period. So, um, okay, so why does this matter? So 280 days is very, very significant with pregnancy. And, um, and 40 is very significant when it comes to pregnancy. So 40 is significant and 280 days is, is significant. I'll come back to this math in a second. And again, for the simple crowd, uh, there are so many verses in the Bible, so many verses about a woman in travail and how it's going to come upon the world like a woman in travail and that kind of thing. And so uh, we'll just let you study on your own. But what we're going to do is we are going to go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and uh, show you that one. And uh, we'll just read that just for the, the crowd that's not familiar with this. And it's, uh, for when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as a labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. So that's First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, among many other verses in the Bible and Isaiah and, and all over the place. So he's talking about um, this tribulation like a, like a woman in travail. Even Jacob's trouble is noted as that. So I'll save the, this math for a bit later, but Mem is um, the is about has a forty of value of forty, and that's that's a Hebrew letter uh, God wrote and spoke in Hebrew. I think that he will be brought back to the Hebrew tongue when we're up there in the clouds. I, I I'm pretty convinced of that now, and I believe that we're going to find all our secrets in Hebrew. But anyway, here's what a Mem looks like, and then uh, to say water, it would you would say Mayim, Mayim. And I think what we get this word mayhem, that was mayhem, that was crazy, that's crazy, mayhem, from the word mayim, I think it's rooted in that. And so that's a, that's a mem, that's a yod, and that's a final mem, and so that would be a value of 90, I believe. I'm, like I said, I'm learning, so bear with me. But what does mem mean? It means water, and um, it means mighty, massive, but many chaos, like the deep, okay? So... Mem is chaos, it means mighty water, massive, like the deep, and it means to come down, like water down a stream. And so we've got this whole water thing. We know that water is related to judgment, just like the days of Noah. Um, you guys know your Bible stories with that. Noah was on the ark uh, and when the water and the judgment came. And what does it say in Revelation 22? And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal. And over here we've got uh, right almost one of the, 
in one of the last verses of the Bible, and the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. The water of life freely. And what does it say in Revelation 21, verse 6? It says, And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega. Well, really what he's saying is, I am the Aleph and the Tav, which is the first and last letter in the Hebrew alphabet. The beginning and the end. And I will give you of the fountain of water of life freely to him who thirsts. So he's talking about water of life three times in the last two chapters. And um, he's going to be providing us water. It's, it's going to come through him. And there's he's going to provide light. It's going to come through him. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be wonderful. And water is his hint. And labor is his hint. And um, we go to Methuselah. And we see the letter M, Mem, in the first letter of, of his name, Methuselah. And we, uh, according to the Torah calendar, in the year 5784, 5 representing the 1,000. Now, most of us understand that we are probably around 210 years off. So that means we're around 7,000 years from the true 6,000th year, more or less. There's also a Mem in Lamech's name. So Mem, Mem. Water, chaos, mayhem, mayhem, mayday, mayday, mayhem, mayhem, 40 and a 40. So we got that. We've got that. You understand the 40 stuff. Okay, so let's, again, let's save the math for the end here. Here's the timeline that I, I put together a while ago. Okay, so Jesus dies in probably somewhere between 30 and 33 AD. Right now we're looking at 30 AD, which makes a lot of sense, but that means there's a 40-year gap between 30 AD and 7 AD. Mem, there's a water slash destruction slash chaos right there, right there. And that means there's a 1960-year gap to 2030 from the temple destruction. So remember that. Remember that now. Now I'm going to open up my Bible again and, um, and, and keep that in mind as we do that. I'll put these things to the side for now. And what does Ezekiel chapter 4 say? Ezekiel chapter 4, as a review, says, uh, Ezekiel, uh, when you have completed them, lie again on your right side. Okay, sorry, we're in, the, we're in a shot now. Um, then you shall bear the iniquity of the house of Judah 40 days. I have laid on you a day for each year. So 390 uh, for Israel and 40 for Judah. So 40 is the punishment for Judah. And what do you do with this? What do you, what do you do with this punishment? Well, what does it say in Leviticus 26 about not obeying and things like that nature? A punishment of seven times. Seven times. Seven times. Seven times. So we're all to, we're to multiply things by seven times, but we we've got the thing with with uh, with Judah for the number forty. All right. So now all that to bring you back here to, to this chart. <clears throat> okay. So here's here's the most uh, exciting stuff. So we if Jesus died in thirty A.D., that gives us a forty year gap to seventy A.D., which is perfect, and that gives us a nineteen hundred and sixty year. A gap from 780 to 2030 being the potential second coming. Now, if we don't get out of here in the next couple of weeks, we're, we, we just got to shift it over, but we can't shift too much. We, we're running out of uh, runway space for prophecy to make sense, and this is all uh, going to happen real soon. It's just, it's not even a guess. It's, it's, it's a fact. Jesus is coming soon, and he is going to take the church, and he, he is going to restore all things soon as the Prince of Peace in Jerusalem. So, Here's the math and, and the fun stuff here. Okay, so I told you at the beginning that pregnancy is typically 40 weeks. They add 280 days to your last period after conception. I think that's how they they do it. 280 days. Well, 40 times 7, here's the, the penalty for Judah, and here's the 7 from Leviticus 26. 40 times 7 is 280 days. So that's, that's the term of a pregnancy. But Leviticus 26 mentions it many times. So you multiply that again by 7, and that gets you 1960, the amount of years from 70 AD to 2030. Isn't that perfect? So 1960 years from 70 AD to 2030 is in perfect alignment with the amount of days you would calculate for a pregnancy. But the Bible speaks of this whole thing as a woman in travail, like a woman in childbirth. <clears throat> again, I won't take your 
take up your time and explain all those verses, but they're everywhere. Uh, it's, there's a constant theme of a woman in travail. She gives up a man child. She's about to give birth, Revelation 12. So it just so happens that if he died in 30 AD, there's, a, there's, there's 40 years, and you times that by seven, times that by seven, and that gives you the 280-day count that you would use for a, a pregnancy calculator. So our biology speaks to the timeline of Jesus coming very soon. Isn't that something? Now, here is something else that is really extra special here. Go with me here. If 1960 now represents the full term of a pregnancy, okay, because we've times it by seven times by seven, and we're using the, our biology, and so now 1960 represents the full term of pregnancy. If you divide it by 40 weeks, then each week represents 49 years. So 49 is one week now. Okay. Hopefully you're, you're, you're tracking with me. So 49 now represents one week of this, of this whole pregnancy cycle. So if 1960 is our new pregnancy cycle, uh, 49 represents one week. So how many, what's the length of one day then? 49 weeks divided by, or 49 being one week, divided by seven days is seven. So I, I, I don't want to lose anybody, but I hope you understand what I'm saying here. So seven years is equal to one day when it comes to using this as now your new uh, pregnancy timeline. Again, if, if, it's, if God is looking at being pregnant for 1960 years is, is equivalent to how we view uh, being pregnant. Using that as your 40 weeks, then that means seven years is equal to one day. Now think of the Bible now, when it says the great day of the Lord is coming. The day of the Lord. That means the final seven years. Does that make sense? The final day of the Lord is the final seven years. It's not just a day. It's if you're again, if you're if you're saying 1960 years from the temple destruction, and that is your pregnancy clock, that's your timeline. Divided by 40, that means every week is 49. 49 divided by seven. Seven years is one day. Seven years is one day to the Lord when it comes to uh, end times eschatology here in the timeline. So. A half a day would be three and a half years. So that doesn't really make sense. The Bible says it's the day of the Lord, which means the final seven years. It's all jam-packed all together. So I hope this blessed you. I hope this makes sense to you that um, I don't know exactly when the rapture date is. I don't know when the second coming is. But we're getting to a point where it just has to fit in, in here somehow. Uh, the, the further out the crucifixion date is, the, the further out the second coming is. But I, I can't see us, I can't see this timeline shifting more than three years, you know. <clears throat> and it, really, it makes most sense that he died in 30 AD, and it makes most sense that this tribulation starts extremely soon as a result, minus seven years, and you're, you're, you're here, like you're, you're right, you're standing on the doorstep, so to speak. So we'll see how things go. But this is something I'm going to try and bring up again because. Uh, we need to really understand this whole concept with pregnancy. I think this is so awesome. Uh, all right. Go, Jesus, go. One day closer, see in the clouds, get tight with Christ, and check out all the links below. Bye. Hallelujah, I'll see.